What's up, y'all? Blue Falcon here. So, apparently, there's this new Sony State of Play. You know, I came out. it came out yesterday. You know, I wish I could have done it earlier, but, you know, your boy got to work. You know what I'm saying? There's more to life than just video games. But, with that being said, I'm free now. So, let's actually get this thing rolling. All right, let me get this thing started. Let's go. Hello, viewers. I am Ivy the Android. I'd like to share today's dinosaur forecast. A dinosaur outbreak will soon occur. Residents in the affected area have been evacuated, and a team of exo fighters has been dispatched. A vortex warning has been issued. Please remain indoors. I make a sense of this situation. You've been living in the chief directors for two years. All I wanted was to be IBS's top pilot. IBS's latest dinosaur forecasts and exosuit technology were able to keep human casualties to zero. Exosuit development is proceeding under the guidance of the next gen AI, Leviathan. Meanwhile, IBS continues to recruit candidates to become new exo fighters. Humanity's greatest hope. This thing looks insane. Transformers meet Jurassic Park. I don't know what is going on here. Another exo fighter recruit, right? <laughs> Welcome to IBS. Okay. State of Play returns with more announcements and updates for your favorite games. We just saw the debut of Exo Primal, a brand new IP from Capcom. It hits PS4 and PS5 next year. Next up, let's get some eye-popping updates for some fan favorites launching soon. So I noticed they're not trying to give up on the PS4 at all. こいつは大勢の魂を借り集め、それを利用して明快と現世をつなごうとしている。あいつはこの先に一体何を見ているって言うんだ。読みの海はまだ先だ。なんだか盛り上がってきたな。こんなことが許されるはず。あいつを止めない限り終わらない。
来るんだろ一緒に Oh much <laughs> That soon <laughs> I forgot to mention this, but they did say that this will be centered around more of Sony's Japanese um, developers. So I see that definitely see the Japanese influence. Later today, visit PlayStation Store to download a new demo for Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Now, let's jump into the world of Forspoken with some all new gameplay. Man, I'm really excited for this one. I've been checking this one out for a while. It is quite beautiful. Yeah, in a everything here wants to kill you kind of way. Let's finish this. Okay, I actually released date now. All right, that's cool. And I love the fact that That was a new look at the sprawling PS5 adventure Forspoken from Luminous Productions. Let's check out some 6v6 action in Gundam, Gundam? Evolution, a fast-paced multiplayer shooter coming to PS4 and PS5 later this year. But going back on the Forspoken, I just love the fact that there's like a black female protagonist. That that's cool. But Gundam First person? Not bad, I, I, I definitely keep my eyes peeled out for that. <laughs> Ninja Turtle? Yeah. 
then the turtle gives us the joint. This is like a what is this like a connection? Kawabunga! Brawler Gigabash comes to PS4 and PS5 later this year. Next, a fan favorite fighting game makes a beautiful and bizarre return. A fighting game? Which one? Oh, I believe I did hear about that. I didn't actually grow up on that one. It looks, it looks pretty interesting. 50 playable characters. Wow, that's pretty strong. That's it. Yeah, man, PS4, it's, it's still kicking. I Our next two games will take you beyond life and death. Get on PS4 by now. resurgence of that samurai culture that, that's really cool I think I might check that one out for sure trapped in an endless cycle fighting oh, okay. dying 
returning. Always the same, yet always changing. Astra. Now I stand before the Endless Tower. I climb as Sisyphus did, pushing the boulder upward. No matter how high I climb, the challenge begins again. But I fight on through the infinite. I feel like people Seeking don't really answers. speak about this game enough. Seeking ascension. My release is within this tower. And I will find it. Yeah, this, this game, I think they always did a pretty good job, but... For some reason, I don't know what came out during the same time, but no one really talks about House it. Mark is bringing campaign co-op and a mysterious new survival mode to Returnal Ascension. A free update hitting this March. Oh, free. It's almost time to sign off, but before we do, let's get a first look at two brand new games coming from Square Enix. Two. <laughs> All right. Is this really what you want? And you are certain that what we are doing is best for the people of the kingdom. Yes. I suppose it would, in a sense. True. Yes. It made me wonder, am I still that same person? The era of myths gives way to an era of great turmoil. The continent was ravaged by the devastating war between the Empire and the Alliance. However, one nation remained unaffected by the chaos. The Kingdom of Alatain, Ward of the Orgus, looked destined to have its soil stained with the blood of battle. We've finally been called up. We're up against the Empire's main army. We are to eradicate every last Imperial who comes ashore. Keep focused. Come on, everyone! And now you will die. Do you really have such a yearning for war? I can't comprehend it. So then, what shall we do now? We're going to retake it. This is our chance while they're all assembled. We should send our best and crush them. That's right. All the more reason to avoid bloodshed. It also likely means that we're in danger. I suppose it is the only way for us to survive. Ragnarok tears our world asunder. 
All we hold precious lies on the brink of annihilation. Become my tool of intervention and save this world from doom. Your efforts to remain undetected are lacking. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Who are you? That's all for today. We'll see you soon with another State of Play. Alright. So I won't bore you... Um, with the rest of that so let's actually get that out the way but what can I say uh, with State of Plays it, you know they obviously they're trying to cater to a, a wide variety of people you know because you know the Sony brand appeals to many p different types of gamers so I'm, I said that just to say that I'm not interested in all these games um, but from what I did see, I definitely like the the whole collection, um, the Cowabunga collection. That thing looks dope, you know, because like, you know, again, I'm a 90s baby and I grew up on those, you know, on, on the Game Boy playing <laughs> um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, growing up. So that's definitely cool. I, I definitely might check look into that. Um, and the Force Spoken, I mean... Every time I see that game, it looks better and better. I know some people are sleeping on it. Uh, I don't know why, but that game looks awesome. Now, it does seem like a very big world. Some people have complained that you know they don't see uh, a lot of NPCs or the world seems barren. I hope that's not the case. But um, even if it was, right? You know, people who played Shadow of the Colossus you would know that the world was extremely barren. You would travel great distances, and the only thing that you could interact with was the Colossi, right? So I don't really get people's, um, I guess, f um, issue with um, if for Spoken chose to go that route. But for me personally, from the graphics to the female protagonist, I'm definitely interested in that. Um, and that was it. You know, that last game I don't, um, with the Valkyrie Elysium, that looked pretty cool. It looked like, you know, just the standard Square Enix action RPG. You know, nothing too crazy. It seemed like Square Enix is going for that. Um, I think Kingdom Hearts has done so well for Square Enix that now it's like Square Enix is trying to take almost every single franchise they have and try to put that RPG action spin to it, you know. So, like, from Final Fantasy, I think they started off with Final Fantasy fifteen. They went that action RPG route. And then they remade Final Fantasy VII to continue that trend. So this doesn't seem like anything different. It does look good, though. Um, I'll just keep my eyes on it just to see. One last thing I noticed is that are we in the next console generation yet? Like, I mean, <laughs> like, what's the whole point of the Xbox series or PS5 if they're going to just keep making it compatible with the previous generation hardware? Um, I think that's actually good because again with the scalpers a lot of people may not have the ability to purchase a PS5 or a Series X so I, I get why they doing it but it just something in my mind just it gives me that taste of we're not really at next gen quality gaming yet um, for the exception of boost frame rates but like in terms like there's like a diminishing returns of in terms of how much gra how much graphics we can actually put on screen, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Graphics doesn't make a game, but I just remember back in the day like when we jumped from PS1 to PS2, it was like, 
whoa, what was going on you know, from two to three? It was like, whoa. But now, three to four, I was like, okay, I, I see the bump, four to five. I, I think I see the bump, you know, you know, maybe some extra shadows here, some little textures here and there, but yeah, it's it's just a lot of diminishing returns at this point. So yeah, we're spending more money, but are we actually getting more value really? I guess if you really value frame rates, um, but I think it was a good state of play. I think it was, uh, again, it's, it's Sony's Japanese companies, nothing really to complain about. I think I give the show maybe a b maybe a b maybe um yeah i think that's fair i don't think it was a bad show it just i don't know if it would if you were looking for certain games and you didn't receive it just don't be mad right because sony did i guess they were fair they said they're going to be focused on their japanese company developers anyway so anyway um that's all i got i hope you enjoyed um watching the sony state of play with me if you did please subscribe like it definitely helps out the channel with that being said blue falcon over and out game hard <laughs>